So last night we had the first elimination ceremony and I voted off Cameron. I felt really bad about it. I think Cameron was a really sweet person, but I did have to make a decision and I did feel like the least connection with him. I know I've only been here for a little bit, but I've already made so many connections with the daters, but I think that they act differently around me. It's like they like kind of like put on a show, like they want to impress me. And I get that in a way, like I wish I could know how everyone's acting when I'm not in the house. That's definitely a concern. Feels good, huh? Yeah, it does, actually. Tyler's definitely playing with me. It's usually an immediate turnoff when a guy is not accepting the fact that I'm like, I'm a lesbian, but I like someone who's really confident and doesn't get embarrassed. He's literally doing thirst traps in front of me, like making thirst traps, and it's honestly a vibe. He's kind of cute. I was worried about you were getting sunburned. Yeah? <laughs> oh. That felt so good, thank you. Listen. I know the main goal is supposed to be going after Lexi. I tend to forget that easily because she's not around all the time. I don't think I'll be the only one though. I won't be the only one. I do think you should put me as your screensaver. All right. Do you want up just me or do you want the ones of us? Loki okay, sent me one of both. I can put the one of us together as my home and I can use the one of you as, your, as my lock screen. Good. So people know what's up. That's so cute. So I'm worried because the other contestants are like, they'd be flirting or like hitting on me and like even one of them tried to kiss me and I'm like, guys, if that gets back to her, like my chances are done. What do you think Lexi's gonna think if you open your phone and there's just a picture of me as the background? She literally does not have to know. You want to not tell her already, keeping secrets. Okay, so you're not trying to keep a secret? Well, because if you're willing to keep secrets from other people you're pursuing, you would keep secrets from me. Not when it's me and you against the world. I noticed three other girls that caught my attention for sure. I love Jasmine's curly hair. Riley had a bunch of confidence and just overall good vibes. And Jamie, she's just really pretty. No f***ing way. No way. You are too much. You're a trip. Lexi not here to see this. That's why everybody want to act like this because Lexi not here. You need the game to, to be about the game. I don't know. I just feel like I got to be the real dude in the house, but I feel like it's a lot of fake stuff going on, so I just got to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? There's something going on with Jamie, and I know it. Because first of all, it's like, you're going to pick Jamie as your number one, but you don't even know about her and Sienna. Sienna. But you don't even know about her and Sienna. Tyler, Jamie, and Sienna. Those are like my homies, but they got some little, they got a little sus thing going on right there. It's like, we're, we came here for Lexi, and you're out here spitting game to other girls. Wait, how do you know? Because I'm telling you, we in the loop. Yeah, we in the loop. Wait, did tell you last night? <laughs> no, we just in the loop. Yeah, I was like, we're just in there. Look at this hairline, bro. Who? Huh? Okay, so I had no idea that Jamie was going to be here. I'm getting red, but I I do have a little bit of history with Jamie. <laughs> um, we went on a date and we've been on more dates since that initial date. We were never official. We never, she's never my girlfriend. So she's my friend. Jamie and I met back in Santa Barbara, and now we're here. And I don't know what to do with that. I'm nervous. Jamie was always, she was very difficult. Like, she was very distant from me. I asked Jamie to be my girlfriend, and she said, no. Tyler's just being annoying. Can you tell me that you fight with him? Yeah. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I literally I will don't. not even I would have rejected him left and right. Because, like, he's literally going for you, 
I obviously want you, not him. Tyler and Santa were kind of hitting it off a bit, and I noticed myself getting jealous. I didn't even know we were together. I know everyone wants to know. But it just makes things f weird. Like, imagine your ex is here trying to be with someone else. Oh, that's tough, though, because aren't you just following the same thing? That's fine. Yeah. Maybe get out of the room. I know, it's like. Forget your own room, bro. I know, I know. I want to be alone I don't want my energy to be taken up by Sienna and what she's doing. I don't want that to distract me from why I'm here. Should I get a good night hug? What, what is up with her today? It's civility, it's civility. No, what did I do to you that was so bad for that? I run the clip back. I know, I know. What was the clip? Because you're mumbling. You want to be friends? We can be friends. But stay consistent with that. What? I've stayed consistent with it. I've stayed no. friends the whole time. I've heard of love triangles. Why well, I think I might be in a little bit of a love diamond, you know? Jamie, Tyler, and at the center, my love, Lexi. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna see how this all goes. This is a lot to balance. When I wake up, I drink eight cups of that agua, chase my paper. See you later. Hasta mañana, blend my makeup with my pink puff. Every brush is down. Hello, hello, hello. It's day two, and we're down to six people on each team. Yeah. Today's our first real challenge, so we're gonna be able to see what these daters are made of. Luis was in the bottom two, so I'm gonna check in with him, see how he's feeling, and tell him what he can lean into and pull back a little on. Luis, you have everything going for you, okay? You are attractive, you are smart, you are fun. Um, what's our game plan here? I know the competition is really tough, and I'm not saying I'm not gonna make it to the finals or anything like that, but if anything goes wrong, you know, I'm trying to find a backup plan. That's what you're doing. Okay, yeah. so because um, I'm like, wait, so we're over here flirting with, um, mm. what's her name, Rylan? Right, so I'm getting to know Rylan, and she's super fun. Like, I really f with her vibe. It's definitely, there's a connection there for sure. How do you feel about Lexi right now? As I've gotten to know her, like, genuinely, like, I think she's so sweet, first of all. She's mm -hmm. super genuine. She's very confident in who she is. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's still a lot of time left yeah, here. So yeah. you still have a lot of time with Lexi. But the truth of the matter is, yeah. in these past, you know, few days, you've spent most of your time with the rest of the people over there. Right. You know? And so it's like, have you made any connections with anybody beyond just platonic or just friends? No, not as I see it. Yeah. I think, like, with Louise, it got kind of complicated because I am very, like, with all my friends, I'll cuddle with them. And I was cuddling with yeah. Jamie and, I, yeah. you know, my, my roommates and yeah. stuff like that. But, like, it's platonic. They're here for Lexi, and they need to remember that. Lexi is definitely my type. She's, like, she's everything I've been looking for. Okay. I think overall, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back with my actual confidence, you know, go in, talk to her, talk to everybody else. I feel like it's gonna work out for sure. I do want you to like stand up, let her know how you feel, and start asking her more questions. Think of something that something you could do for do. Lexi that's small. It doesn't have to be like a big thing. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Thank All right. you so much. I feel like it's so hard to read what's going on with Lexi and like the way she feels about people because we get such small times where we get to see her and hang out with her. I don't want Lexi to think that I'm drama or that in any way this is normal for me to be involved in, you know, a love triangle. I'm trying to just get as much advice as I can. So how have you guys been doing? We're having a good time, right? Yeah! yeah! That's what I'm talking about! I am really excited because today we're doing our first challenge! Woo! And I get to see how all of the daters act in their teams and how they act in their challenge, vying for my attention, and that's really where it gets fun. You guys ready for our big challenge today? Yeah. Yes, that's what I want to right. hear. Who here has slid into somebody's DMs before? Uh-huh, yep, that's what we thought. A lot of great relationships go from sliding through the DMs, but you can't just like say hi or leave a little fire emoji. So here's how it's gonna go down in the DMs today. Each of you have submitted your best pickup lines. In the ice blocks behind you, those pickup lines have been frozen. You will be using only your bodies to melt those ice blocks to reveal the pickup lines. I don't know if people do that on the daily and everything, but I, that's not like my go-to for a normal activity. So, once the ice blocks have been melted enough to reveal the pickup lines, individual team members will slide across the slide, meet another team member at the end of the slide, 
that team member will then be responsible for matching that pickup line to who they thought submitted it. And the team with the most matches in the shortest time wins. You guys want to know what you're winning? The team that wins gets to go on a group date with me. All right, so you guys are gonna get with your team and decide who's doing what right now. Off that, I need this date. I need this group date with Lexi. It's crucial. Crucial. And it is. <laughs> On the ice sip. I'm on the ice. How do you on the ice? The yeah, Jamie, you got it. You got it, Jamie. I want to win this challenge so bad. I'm not thinking about anything else other than winning. All day light, Ooh. all night light, Ooh. all ice light, these spice light. are nuts. They're, they're just like actually doing everything they can to win this challenge and be able to go on a group date with me, but I'm like, don't hurt yourself. It's looking really weird, I, I'm already known, but I'm just trying to win, I don't care. My adrenaline's flowing, I'm pumped, I'm like, we have to win. <laughs> We're slipping, we're sliding, we're slipping, we're sliding, we're shoo, shoo, shoo. I said, girl, you have it in the bottom of my laptop, because y'all know them laptops get hot. I'm no photographer, but I can picture us together. Hi, next sentence. You are so wow. <laughs> I see Callista twerking on the ice block. I'm carrying the team, it's just standing behind me. Oh, I don't wanna get wet. Get in the ice, get in the ice. Good job, guys, good job, good job. Medic, medic. He might have broke his head on the ice, you know? I looked down at my hand after I hammer fisted it a couple times, and I started seeing a little blood come off my hand. We're a little... I was trying to hit the ice, you know, trying to win the date, and, you know... Don't even know what happened to my hand, but we're gonna see. Was that not intense or what? Yeah. Right? Like, crazy! You guys killed it! Everybody went 100% on this. It was really impressive. So guys, remember, a big reason for being here is also to improve your dating skills. So me and Spicy are gonna be looking at some of the pickup lines and seeing if there's any room for improvement. Ready to get critiques? Yeah. All right. <laughs> when it comes to like communication, you want to make sure that like it's gonna land, that the person is gonna understand what you're saying. So you kind of got to think two steps ahead. Sender, receiver. How's this person gonna receive what I'm sharing? Hope you look even better in person. Off the bat, <laughs> comes off kind of like, wait, what are you trying to say? If you're gonna do something like that, I would try to make it more of like self-deprecating humor. Start off with something like, trust me, I look better in person. It'll be a lot better than insulting the person off the bat. <laughs> you guys, this one's concerning. I can play Cupid's theme with your G-string. Look, I get it. You might be dealing with someone who's hot like Lexi, right? But she's more than just a hot girl. So if you're gonna approach her, you wanna make sure that you have some respect with it and already asking if you can like violate and mess with her panties. That's not how we want to go in. <laughs> That's not how we want to start off, right? So I want to share some of my favorite pickup lines that I've seen. Um, and so the first one probably would have to be, I can be the curly fries to your ketchup. So who is that? Good job, Josh. That's super cute. 
And then the second one that I thought was really cute um, and personal was, um, are you French? Because I fell for you, and I know that that was Cyprian, and I know he's French, so I just thought that was cute. Lexi tells me that my pickup line was her favorite. My heart, you feel me? The butterflies. Yeah, everyone knows how that feels. So, the winning team is, with three matches, blowing the other team out of the water. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Spicy Maddie's team! Yes, we are. We're the winners by far. What? In high school, they called me the comeback king for a reason. <laughs> this was super fun, you guys, but my winning team, we got to get dressed and get ready for our group date. You guys ready to kill it again? So we just found out the date is at Color Be Mine, which is a really cool pottery place where you get to paint pottery. I'm really excited because I have never done something like this before. And I'm also really excited to get to connect with everyone in this group on a more intimate level. I know I make you feel some way. That's not my fault. I'm on a wave now, like you're falling off. Wait, I'm literally so happy that this is the challenge. You guys have no idea. This is gonna be fun. So how excited are you guys that you like won this challenge? Oh, team Spicy. Team Spicy is Team Spicy. I'm actually really looking forward to being able to have a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time. I think that being able to be in a more intimate setting where we can all connect with her is gonna be really beneficial for all of us. Can we ask you, like, when it comes to a partner, what do you look for? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, okay, so I was talking to the dating coaches about this. The biggest ones is trust. Um, like, if I can't trust the person that I'm with and if they can't trust me, it's not going to work. Uh, like, one of my previous relationships, like, my boyfriend would go through my phone. That's, like, a huge red flag. Oh, yeah, and I, like, I look back at it and I'm like, holy shit, how did I let that happen for so long? Yeah. Um, so that's, like, big for me. And then another thing is that they like to adventure. Um, I love to travel. And then the, I think I would say, like, the last thing is, like, just that they're really supportive as a person and mm -hmm. like they support me in my pursuits and my job just like I would support them in their pursuits. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what about you guys? What are some deal breakers? I think a big thing for like me is like motivation, uh -huh. mm -hmm. like yeah. passion, having the goals like you want to work towards in life. Like you don't have to yeah. have to figure it out. Yeah. You just want better for yourself. Yeah, I like that Honestly, a lot. I feel like yeah. if your dreams don't scare you, you're not dreaming big enough. Ooh, That's like one of like the that. That's a good quote. Yeah. Luis, I like that quote. Thank you. So I'm finally on the date with Lexi, and overall I'm just trying to redeem myself, trying to see who she is as a person, and trying to see if we're compatible, which we are. I love adventure. I feel like like if the relationship's built on like experiences, that's like the purest relationship you can have. Like seeing people in different realms and doing stuff, like watching you guys paint and like yeah. interact yeah. with art. Like that's really important, and I feel like we're all artists in different ways. But now we're like. We have to paint a cup, like, that's pretty big. There's a lot of pressure. This is so fun. Yeah. And I feel like if it's someone that doesn't push you to do better or, like, be a better person than you were before, I feel like that won't help relationship grow and everything. Yeah. Yeah, for me, communication is a big deal. Like, if you can't sit down and have a conversation with me, like, I don't even want to have anything to do with you. Yeah. Because, like, it, it's just, the it's maturity is big. So nice. I wonder what they're doing back at the house without us. Crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for uh, wishing they were us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's really, like, I think that, that makes the most sense. sense. Everyone says Louise, yeah. but I really think she's she's like the type for sure that's just like gonna try to shock people. True. Yeah. I don't know. And Louis, Louis is going on a date right now. Like he's oh. he's trying to redeem himself. He yeah. said he, thought, he said that last night. Unfortunately, we did not win. Team Anthony, um, it was disgraceful. We really did not do what we should have. I'm super bummed right now. Did any y'all feel worried about huh? tonight? Oh, I'm not worried for myself. I'm not worried at all. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm like, oh, I'm the one Lexi wants, but I, I think there's people who like 
get would get the boot before me. Like for I feel sure, like yeah. if there's people, sure. I have a better chance then. Yeah. Yeah. You sure know what I mean? And I also like, think since a guy was eliminated first, might that's be what I was thinking. She oh, be, that's a good point. Uh, I'm really nervous about them moving on a date with her right now because I feel like, like I said, these are all the people who she kind of hasn't seemed as interested in or like hasn't talked to that much and now like they're getting a direct chance to like spend time with her that we're never gonna have. Like we're never gonna have whatever opportunity that yeah, they're doing right now true. with her. That's it's true. gonna be an experience. It's like the just first experience they all get outside of here Exactly, too. exactly. That makes me so nervous. Sienna and Jamie, one of those two girls, are gonna get me in trouble. It's about Lexi, you know, that's my main focus. I gotta think in my head what I can do to make sure she knows that. So I think I got something up my sleeve and we're gonna see how it plays out. Wait, can I see everyone's mugs? <laughs> that's cute, very fun. Oh my, aw, it's just seeing the we were getting into space at this point. I love it. <laughs> Wait, so what are your guys', guys what are your like inspirations for your art pieces, like for your mugs? It was obviously chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I love it. So I feel like chaos is like just a good representation of coincidences. That makes sense. Yeah. At all. No, I like that. That's cool. Your your mug is really cool. Thank you. Like, so, I wanted to ask you, Lexi, like, what's the most attractive thing, like, thing for you? Like, what's, in a person? Yeah, a person yeah like your go-to personality. Yeah. Personality, just like a person who can make me laugh. Who good. like also like doesn't give. About what anybody thinks about them that's huge for me um, like I really like confident independent people um, and then in terms of like looks wise I, I don't really have a type but I do like a person who can hold intimate eye contact wow. I think that's hot <laughs> Luis is on this date and he is acting so fugazi I can literally see right through this man's bull I mean the same he's pulling on Lexi, he did to Jasmine, and he did the same thing to Rylan. I'm like, this man is a pretty boy. That is it. Are any of you religious? No. I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to be. I just kind of like the way, because it looked like a lot of people in the church are really judgmental and like really ignorant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you? I mean, I'm not religious. Uh, I I, my grandma is super religious, and so the first time she ever found out about my sexuality mm -hmm. was actually because of the show. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. That was new? Yeah, that was new. But she's been texting me, and I honestly think, like, I think it's better than I thought it was gonna be. What is your sexuality? To me, I see people as, like, their souls. Like, it's not it's not about, like, anything down there. Like, it's it's really, like, I don't, I'm not attracted to, like, a person's gender or, or, or anything like that. It's, like, their character and, and their mm -hmm. soul. Um, and coming out, I got lucky. Like, I have a very, very supporting family. I'm really yeah. happy everyone here is very supportive. Yeah. Like both the yeah. guys and the girls. People who aren't, it's just a lot about them not being able to deal with their own issues. Yeah. 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 Josh, that's a really good point. I know we have only known each other for a very short amount of time, but I feel like I've bonded individually so much with all of you. Like, I know little details about your lives, and I'm sure there's so much more that I still have to learn. But. That's why we have time, and that's why we're doing stuff like this. It's nice to see Lexi's guard come down, and she can really talk to us and get personal with us about certain things. And it just felt nice to have some sort of one-on-one -on -one with her. Yo, how you think that date's gone? Honestly, I don't even know what to expect. I don't even know where they are, but... It's going, that's all I know. It's going. They're all realizing that they have to like go for Lexi at this point. Yeah. Like, people are already getting put on blast for trying to like have like little like groups or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. people are already like putting on, getting yeah. put on blast. But I also think people are realizing that like if they don't step up soon, they're gonna, they're gonna need to leave like... Yeah, I'm kind of getting worried about that because you know, I feel like everyone's kind of saying this and she might be feeling that, you know, I'm here for the wrong reasons and necessarily not as interested in her as the other girls. I mean, I kind of thought of like something cool to do, you know, tonight. I just kind of pull her off the side, have like a little picnic or something. With you and her? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was gonna get like this blanket. To, like, lay it all right, down yeah, so let me see. Damn, this dude had it all planned out and everything. 
and then I'll just use these flowers. The flowers like, that they're match, they're, okay. You know, match the blanket. Ordered food earlier, got some. All right, I'll let me see, let me you, see, you know? yeah. I know she likes acai bowls and her little chocolate cake. So, you know, we ordered some. Dang! Yeah, so. Brody went you know? hard, okay. Yeah. I'll, I will be the first one to tell you, I have been like engaging and flirting with other, with right. Sienna and the other girls. So like, I just wanted to, you know. Honestly, I think this is actually a step towards the right direction over here. I want to get some stuff straight. I think that this is about to actually make her. Yeah. So you, can, yeah, I ain't gonna lie though, I'm gonna need some help setting it up. Hey, I got you. Okay, we can definitely use all these right here. Damn, I'm, am I really about to help my opponent right now on a date with my girl, like my shorty I'm trying to get at? But that's my boy, I really gotta help him. I just gotta be a good guy, you know? I think Lexi's like also gonna notice that. Like, he's helpful, he's open arms to anyone. <laughs> I feel like we definitely gotta move the floats. I would say. Hey, this is cute. I like this. Man. I would say it's pretty good. All right. All right, let's go get this food. All right, let's go. Sheesh. And I can't tell if you real or not. Hey. What's up, boy? What's this? <laughs> what is this? Is this our own little thing? Oh, my God. This guy. Tyler set up something really special for me. I, like, I got emotional. This is so cute. Look at this cheese ball on his freaking picnic date with my girlfriend. Are we kidding? What are you doing? What have you gotten me into? Oh my gosh! You got me chocolate cake! <laughs> So I had the chance to talk to Tyler last night, and when we were talking, I told him about some of my favorite things, some of my favorite foods here in LA, and it really meant a lot to me that he paid attention to our conversation. It's like all of my favorite things. I feel so spoiled right now. Well, you had to show up the other date that was planned. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like losing. Well, you were you were definitely you were definitely trying not to lose. I am so infuriated. I am screaming, crying, throwing up, all the above. I feel distraught. I'm gonna need a counselor, a psychologist, and medication. <laughs> he's only doing this because he's he's nervous. He's, he's only nervous. doing this because he knows he was gonna get the boo. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. He had to say his last goodbyes, and that's I get it. It's okay. It's fine. No, it's Tyler fine. is corny. Tomato, 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 having like moments, you know? You're so cute, I can't. Just to clear it up, my interests are not in either of the other two girls that people are saying there are. Might have flirted with them, that's just me, but yeah. I hope this shows you, you know, no, where my interests I, are at. I really do appreciate this, like a lot. I think this is probably one of the sweetest things like a guy has done for me, like I don't. No one's ever like done this? No. Oh. No, like actually, this is like really sweet. Like, yeah. it like, this makes like... my heart really happy. This boy is so cute, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, how can I be so lucky to have this experience with someone who's so sweet, so kind? Most people think I'm like a flirt or a player, but the truth of the matter is, you know, I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You know, my mom was like, I'm not raising no player. You're gonna treat a girl right if you're gonna get a girl. This shows a lot of tenacity, a lot of effort, and like you're here for the right reasons, which I feel like some people might not be, so it, it like, yeah. Actually, like, means a lot. Yeah, for sure. Like, well, actually. I'm glad that you think that, and uh, it looks like we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, I can't. Oh, here we go. I can hear the herd. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Why are you looking at me like that? They're really coming on me up there. I was like, what's going on the boy? What do you mean, capping on me? Oh, like, you're 
this motherfucker gave us my mom. Yo, they're talking. Apparently, people were saying that was the first date that I had that wasn't my sister. So Since now, he's from Alabama. I'm gonna ask who it was. Was it you? No, but I wish I would have said it. Do more drama. So first off, I just want to know why Tyler's wearing the same outfit as me, bro. I just want to know why. Wow, I, I cannot believe this. I, I can't believe That's this crazy. either, bro. We just get back from our date. He trying to go on a date. He can't wait one day. He put a target on his back, being the first one to do that. But right. that's how that was a player move. That was a player move. He pushing P right now. He is pushing P, bro. So it kind of looks like I'm looking in a mirror, bro. Oh, for real? Oh, she was saying I copied you. Put, um, he said I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Luigi. I'm not even saying his name right, but Luigi's cruising. I'm getting hot. We're rocking the same then, fit, bro. And I was wearing this when I left for my date, so. Oh, we're rocking the same fit? <laughs> you know, she said that maybe she was allergic to nuts, allergic to chocolate, bro. Something just kind of better. Of course, it's like vegan and stuff. Oh, really? But maybe if you would have set up your own date, you would have Oh, been that's because the chocolate cake was her favorite cake. The lemonade mm -hmm. was her favorite lemonade. No, I know, I know the lemonade. Oh, so you knew that? Favorite. Yeah. Oh, well, then why are you just checking on chocolate? Why are you doing this? It's like you're trying to assert dominance over a person that's supposed to be your friend. Oh, he didn't actually say, shut up. Shut up. What do you think, Lexi? I think he picked out all my favorite snacks and he did a really good job. Damn. I'm sorry, Louise. Yo, <laughs> pack your stuff, bud. I'm taking your bed. Like, those were all my favorite snacks. He even got, like, the restaurants. See, everything perfect. Oh, Except that it wasn't him though. If you ask the right questions, you know. then you know the right things and you can get the right things and you can do that. You're a rook. You're learning. Sorry. That's all about it. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, it was really cute. But I just think Tyler isn't the, the smartest guy, so I know for a fact he did not set that up by himself. Kind of upset with Luis right now. She's upset with you. Because you press Tyler for no reason. You press Tyler? Nah, I was just. No, I was just pressing him. Then you kept pressing the issue. You're yeah. mad over an outfit. And I'm not mad over an outfit. I'm mad that he's on the original and he's trying to copy me, you know? Like everybody was born to be unique. We're happy. No, just like a lot's going on right now. I like the date was really nice. I'm like, oh, that's yeah, so nice. I enjoyed it. 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 I enjoyed it.
with a blanket out, like two pillows. It looks really romantic. I'm not gonna lie, it looked really good. It was like a good ass date. Okay. But the thing is, I'm like, why is he being so unoriginal, copying my fit, and then just all of a sudden getting a one-on-one -on -one date when he didn't even <laughs> win the challenge, you know? Like we were over here putting in work, winning the challenge, and he gets true, a one-on-one. -on -one. You kind of killed it. Like, why yeah. did he get that? Exactly. Okay, I, I so feel like you I was kind of a little bit? Undeserved. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then what? Lex and I are on the couch, yeah. right? Listening. Okay, and Lexi mm -hmm. can hear this. Yes. And I'm figuring out over here that like it wasn't really him. Clearly, Tyler needs the help. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if anything, you should be feeling sorry for him instead of uh, what came across as jealous. What came across as hating. No, it's not even that I'm jealous or anything. I just feel that, it, like, I feel like he did it intentionally just to get me mad. Cause like, I feel like really attacked the fact that he's wearing the same colorway <laughs> as me, you know, the same jacket. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's not that hard to be yourself. I mean, imitated, but never duplicated. Mm, exactly. So maybe it, we can take it as flattery because mm. what I don't want is for fighting with other dudes in here. Now she's like, dang, now I got to worry about when I take him out, if he's going to embarrass me. Mm -hmm. Like she's paying attention to all this. And I know you have the best intentions, it's but why are we worried about like sheep when we're a freaking wolf? No, that's, that's weird, that's weird. Period. That's not period, yeah, that's weird. But then, there's someone capping on him, making him look terrible. Between him and right. Tyler. Right. Right. right, Making him look terrible, obviously making mm -hmm. her look better for Lexi. But it's just like, I feel like everything, like I'm getting attacked recently, and I feel like everything's kind of getting directed towards me. She can play for any team that she wants, so you guys have to remember, like, unless you secured the bag, the bag's gonna get taken. So if somebody else uh, has to lie on your name, what are you guys doing to step your game up? How are you setting yourself apart from the other people in the house? All I'm about to say is little by little, my heart's just breaking because I'm helping other boys get my girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> with her outside. Mm -hmm. She brought you up, she's a little irritated, so just go address it, just be a man, own up for your actions, make eye contact with her, and just let her know. I just want to say, I want to apologize right away for my actions. I know I stepped out of hand, like, coming out for Tyler like that. It's just that I felt like I didn't do anything to deserve to get called out like this. Just like, you obviously seen, I was wearing this way before I, Tyler did, and I just feel like that was a step, like, trying to say, like, at least, like, you're not it. I guess the only reason I'm really upset is because I was so happy. I've never been on a date like that before in my life. Nobody's ever taken the time to, like, memorize all of my favorite snacks and then I come inside and and Louise is just like being really nasty to him. Well, basically what I'm just trying to say is I'm sorry for my actions and I hope we can start like turning the page. I don't I don't like drama. No, yeah yeah. I can't handle it well and especially after like standing there like this is like mm -hmm. real for me like standing there after like a really sweet date that he put together I was so happy I was like smiling so much I do accept your apology I do, I do. Like, mm. actually, I appreciate you coming to talk to me because that was not, like, I I was just really emotional. I could tell that Tyler was, like, a really sweet and genuine person. Sure, Cyprian might have helped him. It says loads of, like, loads about Cyprian's character that he would help his friend set that date up and, like, not be selfish and want to do that himself. But it's like, I have the biggest smile on my face and I was so happy about it. And then I come in and it's just, like, why are we, why are we causing more drama? I'm sorry you had to go through all that. Like, I, I know you're generally like a good person. You have a beautiful soul. The fact that you just, your eyes tell the whole story. You're beautiful inside out. Like, you care about everybody. And I understand that everything here is for like, for you, like we're all trying to impress you. But like, dude, like I don't feel like you're deserving any of this. I'm sorry, you're just, you're too kind and too beautiful to be going through any of this pain right now. Thank you. I'm sorry, bro. Thank you. What's happening to everyone? Like, I'm not worried about going home for like a couple days if y'all are gonna keep fumbling. I, I don't think go. anybody's fumbling the bag today or tomorrow. Like, I feel like everyone's- No, there's not a lot of chances yeah. though. All I'm about to say is Louise done up, but it's not only Louise. It's Louise. Yeah, it's not Louise. It's, it's Jamie, Jamie. It's Sienna. Like, Louise yeah. is the scapegoat right now. Like, yeah. literally, they need to be called out in front of everybody. Like, so that Lexi That's knows. Because then, there's no way. I feel like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel like Alexi's being too oblivious to them. So she's not even paying them their mind. Totally. She's been just yeah, by she's being easy, like, yeah, okay. Exactly. Rylan, oh, reason, yeah, like, Rylan needs to be, like, a hold accountable, too. Rylan just wanted to get out and say, she not feeling Louise, they just friends. That's yeah, shit. That's she that's cuddles that. up with all her friends, and she likes physical touch with her friends. Then the whole thing with Tyler and Sienna is just like, 
there. They, they need to figure that out. It is going down. Like, that's all we have to say. All right, peace. Oh. Yes. That's hey, true. at eliminations, don't let her ask no question who she think fake, because I'm letting it fly. We, we tell I'm letting it fly. Oh, we, hey. we letting them know. Daters, welcome to your second elimination ceremony. Just like last time, Lexi's gonna swipe on your dating profiles. And of course, as your matchmakers, we're gonna advocate on your behalf, but um, ultimately it's up to Lexi whether you're going home or if you still got a chance at Love Water. So the first profile I would like to go through is Jasmine's. I went on a group date with you today and I think I connected with you really well. Um, we talked about some really emotional stuff and I got to know you a lot better. Um, and I'm really, I'm really glad that that happened. For those reasons, you will remain a match. Um, that was cool. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> the second person I would like to talk about is Tyler. Tyler, um, you made my whole day today. You really put forth the effort and surprised me with a really sweet date. I've never had a date like that before in my entire life, and I want you to know how much it meant to me. You surprised me with all my favorite things, and it was very sweet, and we talked and got deep, and I really appreciated that. Um, so for those reasons, you will remain a match. My game plan in all this is definitely taking Lexi home. I'm taking her all the way back to sweet home Alabama, baby, you know? Up next, I would like to talk about Luis. We've had a couple problems throughout the past couple of days. Um, I really, really appreciated that you came and talked to me today. Your apology was sincere and heartfelt and it meant a lot to me. I did get really emotional today because it was just a lot going on and I was really overwhelmed. So getting some reassurance from you and hearing your words of apology meant a lot to me. I was still really, really, really concerned about some of the things that happened today. For those reasons, you will be up for elimination tonight. So I'm sorry. Lexi pretty much just called me out for some sketchy stuff that was happening earlier. And then, I mean, I really can't blame her. I hurt my chances really bad. The next person... Actually, could I, could I talk to my dating coaches for a second really quickly? Yeah, sure. This is honestly so much harder than I thought it would be. I think I already know who I want to set at home. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult, but I just want to hear like some reassurance from you guys. What do you guys think? Literally don't have anyone else in mind that is up for elimination, then it sounds like Luis is the only one. Okay. As you know, his coach, I've been trying to lead and guide and direct him to make better decisions. But unfortunately, he's just not there as far as like the self-awareness is concerned. I think that a lot of the negatives outweigh the positives. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a difficult time finding another person to put on the elimination block. I really don't know what to do at this point. On one hand, I have Luis, who I feel like I can't really trust. And on the other hand, I have other contestants who I feel like are also telling half-truths. I talked to my dating coaches. I had to make a really difficult decision tonight. I feel like there was just a lot of immaturity and drama that happened. And as much as I appreciated your apology, I was just a little bit overwhelmed because of everything that happened. So because of those reasons, unfortunately, Luis, you have been unmatched and you will be going home tonight. I'm sorry. That's fine, don't worry about it. It's not good, I ain't gonna try. It's not hard for me at all. Okay, I'm glad. And I'm really glad we got to know each other. Just some things didn't work out. You know, I hope you find happiness and that's really all I really care about. Thank you. I am okay for the only reason because I'm not the type of guy to be stingy. Like, that should have been me. I'm just supposed to be with her. Isn't that? And it would have been, it would have been really nice if I did end up with her, but 
I am a little hurt that we didn't, and I kind of like messed everything up, so I'm stepping on my own shoelaces at this point. I've had a lot of fun with you guys this whole process. The group date was awesome, and I feel like I got to know all of you a lot better, and I'm really excited to continue doing that. Good night, guys. I hope you get some rest, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Oh, this is hot. <laughs> Who's a big, fat, juicy liar? Rylan! Oh. I'm over it. I hope she goes home. I don't want her here anymore. He's tr he tried to kiss me in my room the other day, and I told him that it's not going to happen. You know what? We're throwing shots. Let me throw this. Last night, she whispered in my boy's ear that she wanted to cuddle with Josh last night. Is that not true? Finally, someone is honest with me about something. They dropped a bomb, and then another bomb, and then another bomb, and then another bomb. Explosion. It's crazy.